Welcome back to the channel everyone. It's time for a Walt Disney World shopping haul. So I have a lot to show you. This is from our April, May 2024 Disney vacation. Moving pictures. Hello there, moving I have had this pile here for three weeks. I have not had time to film this haul. And I really don't have time today. However, it is Mr. Mouse Diva's birthday and one of his birthday presents is in here. So I'm thinking I'll start this haul. I will not have time to finish because with the death of his father and um, a week of being in the hospital and being with him in the hospital and then the week we were gone, the following week to Wisconsin um, for the funeral, I, I just haven't had time. But, and basically after this, I have to go to the store because I need to find something else for him as a present. Um, so that is why I'm going to just start this haul. And then you're gonna see me looking a little different. I'll have to finish it on another day. So I'm taking out whatever is in this. It's not from Basin, but, oh, okay. So, but it was in the bag, so I wanted to go ahead and get it. So I forgot, so on the way down, of course we stopped at Bucky's, and I got this coaster. It was only $3.49, and you know, it's got all, you know, just kind of like the whole Florida vibe going on, and um, I'm like, I like that. I'm gonna grab that, the price was right. Okay, so we went into and Basin. One of the reasons was because I wanted to get some um, conditioner and hair sh shampoo because I was almost out. <clears throat> so, oh, I love the smell of this one. So, their shampoos are in this and you don't need a lot. Like this lasts a really long time. I mean, just a little bit in your hands, just a little bit of lather and you're good to go. And then this shape is the conditioner. I had never tried their conditioner, so I wanted to, to give it a try. Now, I got two different kinds. One was for dry hair. Oh, and I don't remember the other one. I had to take one of them out because when we flew to um, Wisconsin, it's easier to take these with traveling because they're not a liquid. So I took the other two out and that is why you don't see them and when you buy four you actually get them in the little um, sleeve here whatever you want to call that. So but what he wanted is he saw this and it's the um, Basin White Shave Cream and he had said that he was, is this already open? Nope it's, oh it's okay. I was going to smell it because I can't remember what it smelled like. This is but I'm not gonna open it. So, and this was like $30 or 30 or four, somewhere between 30 and $40, I think. And so I was like, okay, I'll grab that for him and give it to him for his birthday. He's already forgotten about it, thank goodness. Um, so I needed to grab that out. Now also in this bag from the Norway Pavilion, I love this brand. Um, it is like you can smell it as soon as you go in to that store. I always get their lotion. It's the only perfume I can wear because it's not synthetic so it doesn't mess with my asthma. And I needed face moisturizer. I was running out. And um, so this is the natural repair. And so I grabbed one. Of, I grabbed this and actually started using it on the trip. However, oh wait a minute. Here's the price. Hello. Okay. So, oh, okay. So the shave cream was $34.99. And then the ginger shampoo bar and ginger solid conditioner were $11.99 each. And then the kombucha 
shampoo bar and solid conditioner were $11.99 each. I do get a um, DVC discount, so I got a discount of $11.10. So my total for the um, four hair care bars and the shave cream was $66.98. Right, the only other things I'm going to show you real quick is something, it was a new line that came out in Magic Kingdom, is the Tomorrowland line. And it all started with this. Mr. Mouse Diva was just asking about it yesterday. Um, and I saw this, and it's ironic, because I told Mr. Mouse Diva the day before, don't worry, I'm not buying any more lounge flies. I have enough backpacks. I don't need any more, so don't worry about it. Saw this. Not me. Mr. Mouse Diva bought this. He loves the monorail and he loves Space Mountain. And like we both saw this and it was like, oh crud. So he's like, okay, yeah, I, I'm getting this. Show you the inside. So it started with this. And I had seen on Instagram the t-shirt. Which crud. I don't he has in his closet. Oh my gosh. Okay. So I'll get back to that. But then I saw this. And as you can see, I've already worn it. Because we wore it there. Like we everything we got in this line, we wore our next trip, our next visit to Magic Kingdom, which I think was two days later. Um, and I love this because it looks like a baseball jersey. Well, it is a baseball jersey. Um, so that got my attention. Make sure I'm showing you everything here. Is anything on this side? No. Okay. And then it had 71 on the back. The year, uh, Magic Kingdom, you know, was built, was finished, opened. That's the word I'm looking for, opened. It's also the year I was born. So I love anything that has a 71 on it. Had to get it. Also, and I'm not a big ear wearer, although, ironically, so these were still packed. I did actually take my DVC ears that I bought years and years ago. I did take those. It'd been a while since I took ears on the trip, but I had to buy the matching ears. I loved this. The Space Mountain in the middle. Um, it says Tomorrowland here, um, Magic Kingdom here, like I couldn't resist. It's, it's been, I think these were the last years I ever bought. And like I said, that was years ago, but they've just had some really nice ears that I've came close to buying. It's just that I can't wear them long periods of time. They give me a headache. So, and plus if it's raining, I'm not going to wear them. And then I got to worry about put, having somewhere to put them while I'm in the park. And on rides, I take them off. So, unless it's something like, you know, it's a small world. So, that's why I don't have a lot of ears. But I couldn't resist. I'm going to insert a picture of what we looked like in our whole attire. You'll see his t-shirt there. And then I'm going to have to stop for today. The next time you see me, it'll be a different day with the rest of the haul. And um, the thing I got my granddaughter for her birthday present is really, really big. It wasn't until I was editing that I remembered, hey, he also bought the tumbler. So I'm glad I remember because it was like, wait, I bought two things and he bought three things. So what was his third? And this was it. Okay, it's actually the same day. So I just got back from the store and I have a little bit of time before Mr. Mouse Diva gets home from work and then I need to take him out for dinner for his birthday. So let's see what else we got, right? So the Flower and Garden Festival was going on and I grabbed pollinator friendly garden for every flower. There's a B Epcot International Flower and Garden Festival. What I just noticed though, oh, it, okay, good. I was like, it doesn't have the date. I, some people don't like dated merchandise. I do. Um, and it is 2024 pass holder t-shirt. And of course we just um, became pass holders again in January of this year and um, I wanted to uh, you know 
celebrate that by actually getting a pass holder item. All right, so it's been so long, I, I don't even know what are in these bags. Oh yes, I know what this one is. Oh no, I don't, that's not what I thought it was. Okay, so Disney was having a sale. I know, right, can't believe it. So throughout the resorts and the parks, the Wish merchandise, have you seen that movie? I have not. Please comment below what you think about that movie if you have seen it. And if you have not seen it, please let me know why you have not seen it down in the comments. 40% off. And on top of that, then I got my additional 20% off. So I don't even know who this character is, but this character is absolutely stinking adorable. And my granddaughter is going to love walking around in these. So I bought not a, you know, not a special birthday or anything present. This is a let's walk around right now um, type of present. So, okay, this is what I thought it was. Oh, so I had seen this on Instagram, knew I wanted it. And the first day at Epcot, they did not have it. And I was heartbroken. I, but then the next time I think two days later maybe we went back well I went back you'll have to see that I did a solo day at Epcot and they had them I was so happy but I haven't um, taken you know I haven't taken the scissors to clip this but they actually will come out of the boat and this was like 40 bucks yeah $40 but I get a 20% discount but think about it Think about, I think wishables are like, well, not the wishables, um, the, um, not wishables anymore. The, um, oh my gosh, the mystery box. I'm drawing a blank. Munchlings. They're this size. They're $17.99, I'm pretty sure at this point. So I got three of those and a boat for less than $40 because of my discount. So, yeah, that wasn't bad at all. But aren't they just awesome you just don't find a lot of merchandise with them and oh my gosh i i was very happy i was like a kid in a candy factory when i noticed that they had them back in stock all right what else is in this bag oh 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 so you always know we go to gideon's i love their menu cards their artwork so we actually um went in so we checked in on April 28th. We checked out like May 2nd or 3rd, 2nd I think. And so we went in May and April. So these are the May cards. So, and I framed these. And then I have the second one and I put in an album. And then if you get three cookies or more, they go into a box. And in that box is a random card, art card. Call up. I'm pretty sure they probably call them trading cards. And so that was May. Hopefully April is in one of these bags and handy. Okay, what else am I pulling out? Oh, what? Is, oh, so I got my granddaughter something else. So it's actually one of the shoulder pals. So the magnet here will go up underneath the shirt and this will stay on top and I know that she is just good because of the colors, the brightness. It's a dog. She's going to love it. Now this I may wait till her birthday in September to give her. All these plushies. I've been in this plushy kick recently. Okay, what is this? All right. Oh, oh, oh. Okay. So, let me make sure that's all. Yep, that's it. Do not put your head in a plastic bag, by the way. Okay, so Sugar Boo and Company, you know, there's a store in Disney Springs. I rarely go in it just because there's so much I love in there. They can be a little pricey, so I try to stay out. But they had a booth at the Flower and Garden Festival, and I needed to get a couple things. Okay, so first off, uh, $6. I'm going to open this. This is a tiny little book. And it says, Little Book of Wisdom. And I thought that I would write little quotes that I love that I think would be neat for my kids. 
so that after I am gone, they will just, what is that? Oh, that's part of the paper. Um, they'll just, they'll have this little book of wisdom from me. So I'll probably, you know, something like to my children and grandchildren, and then I'll put the little quotes in there. Isn't that a neat, neat idea? I'm probably, if they have more, next time at Disney Springs, I may get another one because I really, really like that idea. Okay. And then, so $14.95 for three. No, for two. I thought there was three. Two. Just journals, but I think they're just beautiful. I love the artwork on these. I love the golden edges. And let's see what the inside looks like. So we have mushrooms. It's, it is lined on this one. And on this, and I, I can never have enough journals. Oh, they're all the same. So the, the insides are the same on both. I can never have enough journals. So this was $9. And to live will be an awfully big adventure. You recognize that name? The Winnie the Pooh author. And open it up and it is just unlined notebook. But I thought I would just make some travel notes in there because if you didn't know, um, I have a family channel, Life's a Whirlwind. And we go on a lot of trips, a lot of adventures. So I thought that would be handy for that. Okay, so this is wrapped. <gasps> this my, this is the very first thing we bought. We always stop at Disney Springs on the way in. And, and normally I do not buy mugs. We have enough mugs, but couldn't resist this one. And I won't use it as a drinking mug anyway, but this is another flower and garden festival item. Serving up sunshine since 1971. Orange Bird is one of the mascots for the Flower and Garden Festival. The original Florida Orange Bird. And I think, let's see, uh, $24.99, but 20% discount. And like I said, I'm not going to be using it as a mug. It would just make a really good planter, and I love plants. Got some DVC stickers at some point. And I grabbed all the new, every now and then I get the new um, park maps. Oh, and so on um, May 1st was the 35th anniversary of Hollywood Studios. Now, I'm not crazy. We were not there first thing in the morning. We went later that evening and got, um, each one of us got one of the special um, guide maps that they just had for that day and it's a lot glossier and like embossed um, more than the regular maps and so it's just a really nice keepsake and we did go into the store with the special merchandise um, there was not a lot left we didn't get anything needless to say we got our flower and garden festival passports and oh, and our Stitch annual pass holder magnets. And actually, let's just pop, this popped out like as soon as I got it. Normally I don't take these off. Normally I just keep them, there's one more, like they're given to me. But since that one broke out, might as well do. So we both got our pass holder magnets. Oh, so. Ooh, I think I need a mint. They actually had these 100th anniversary um, mints. Let me just show you. They're actually shaped, I think it's different characters. Hold on. Okay, so here's Donald. Anyway, they had it, um, they were half off. So I ended up getting two. And is there more than Donald? Oh, yeah. Everybody's in here. Like, here's Pluto. Okay. So, since they were half off, I got two. Always use mints. And, oh. So, 
while we were there, the pass holder lounge opened. I was, we were there for the first day of the pass holder lounge opening in the Morocco pavilion in Epcot. And when you went in, your first time in, you would get one of these buttons, which is kind of neat. Um, Universal Studios has had a pass holder lounge for years and every month they have another button like this um, that you can pick up. And I put some money on um, this little flower and garden gift card wristlet. Every festival they have, they will have some type of gift card wristlet like this. And I always get at least one. So I put money on it and then it didn't take long for me to spend that money. The minimum amount is $15. Had to get my granddaughter the Figment book. So I do have quite a few of the Disney Golden Books for her. And I will end up right, gosh, this, oh, there's the other magnet. <laughs> um, gosh, I hate to break the spine on this, but I'm going to end up having to anyway. You know on the inside right here where it says, um, you know, this book, this little golden book belongs to. I always um, write, you know, her name to Blair from Grand Diva. And then I'll write, you know, Christmas 2023 or, you know, third birthday 2024, whatever. And let's see what else is in here. I like this because you just never know. Oh, this is also a must for every Epcot festival. And this was crazy, guys. This was, you know, the end of April, beginning of May. And actually, it was May 1st. That was the first time we went to Epcot on that trip and um i think no it wasn't and they already they had the pat the um flower and garden festival merch on sale like 30 percent off which is nuts but i always get the trash can or sometimes they have more than one for each event and i love this love orange bird so it's a salt and pepper shaker and this, I remember when I first started buying them, I think they were $7.99 and now they're up to $12.99. Oh, and I think I said this was a um, Flower and Garden Festival item. It's not, it's just a regular, regular item. And I think there's one more thing in here. Oh yes, so. I, many years ago when my son was younger, we used to do the penny machines all the time. He just loved doing that. And then as he got older, we kind of got out of doing it. But for some reason, I was just really into it this this trip. And not only it actually started off the penny machine at Bucky's. And so I got quite a few and because of that, I went ahead and got this 17.99 penny book. And I'm actually going to do a vlog on um, all the penny machines that I saw and you'll be able to see which pennies I actually got. So subscribe and hit the bell notification button so you know when that is up. Again, sale. Remember back in the day when there was never a sale at the parks or in the resorts? We were at the Contemporary, right? Yeah, the Contemporary. All of their Lily merchandise on sale. So, I'm not a big floral person, so I've never bought any of her merchandise. But when I saw these, I was like, you know what? I kind of like these, the athleticness to them. They do have a cell phone pocket, and they also have a hidden pocket um, in your where your back is, you know, your lower back. So I was like, you know, I kind of like the whole castle on there and the Minnie Mouse and since they were I think 40% off if I remember correctly I said you know what I'm gonna splurge and you know hopefully I like the way they feel as soon as we got back to the room I put them back I put them on tried them on and said yep I love it that's that's good all right so I'm only seeing one other thing over here I'm not sure that other things didn't get put away so I may be adding more to it. 
All right, and I need to insert April. I actually found them. Took a while, but I found them. Isn't this so neat? Holly mackerel. Still holy mackerel. And this was the trading card inside of the three cookies that we bought on April 28th. If you watched my Shop With Me new merch vlog, I actually had two go up already. And I pointed this out, said I was thinking about it because the regular price, it was basically $25 off. <laughs> yep, got this for my granddaughter. Look at that little characters up there. And I love how, and you're not gonna be able to really see it because of the ring light, the glare, so that's why I'm showing the back. It comes with the teacups and it comes with the Dumbo ride. Here you go. Everything that comes with. Let me keep the switch. So, it was on sale for $99. And then I got my 20% off that $99. So, I think that's a pretty good deal for a birthday. Or Christmas present. I don't know which one. Her birthday is the end of September. So, I don't know if she's got... You know what? She may get it on her birthday. Because the day after... That way she can play with it get all excited. Because the day after trip announcement the day after she we all leave for Walt Disney World that's right she's gonna make her second trip to Walt Disney World her first trip she was only two months old because that trip had already been planned before she was even in existence so if you want to see that first trip go to my family channel life's a whirlwind that is where I put those up because it was a Thanksgiving um, trip when we always, we used to go every year to Bonnet Creek, Wyndham Bonnet Creek, use our timeshare points. And um, we don't do that anymore. And it was always Thanksgiving week. We did that for, for years and years and years, but we don't do that anymore. That, uh, that was actually the last year. So 2022, no, 2021 <laughs> was the last time that we did that. So check those vlogs out. And if I were, can remember I'll, I might link one at the end of this video so that is it hope you enjoy this haul would love to know what item you couldn't have lived without see you at the parks yeah. Ooh, yeah. I've been all